First step is to download the app. So in your app store on your phone, you're gonna search for My Fitness Pal. Then you're gonna click on My Fitness Pal over here, download it, and you will be taken to this page where you'll sign up for a free account. So go ahead now and do that. Once you log in, when you press the home button on the very, very bottom, you will see that this uh, page will bring you to lots of recipes, different ads, etc., um, and different articles you can go ahead and read. We're now going to set up our goal, which is our very, very first step. So the very bottom, you will see that there goes home, diary, and then it'll say this plus button. Then there's a progress button at the very, very end. There's a more button and the more button you will see there is a line that says goals. Go ahead now and click on goals. When you click on goals, it will ask you for your starting weight, your current weight, goal weight, how much you want to lose per week as well activity level. I'm not too concerned about these numbers. You can go ahead and type them in if you want to, but my really objective here is I want to set the nutrition goals for calorie, carbs, protein, and fat. So go ahead now and click on that. Now for the calories, depending on what your calorie goal is, it could be 1,200, 1,400, 1,600, 1,800, but I want you to discuss with this with your doctor. So here, perhaps our goal is 1,400. Now after that, we're going to set out the macronutrients. So for carbohydrates, we want to choose a macronutrient range of 50%. And then for protein, we want to move this up to 30%. And then for fat, we want to move it down to 20%. So at the very end, your percent total should equal 100%. All right, so 50% of our calories from carbs, 30% of our calories from protein, 20% of our calories from fat, totaling to 100%. So now go ahead and click on the check mark. Now everything is saved here. And these are the goals we're going to try to attain on a daily basis. Now it's time to customize our meal diary with the number of meals we'll eat in a given day. So we're gonna click back on the arrow button to go back. We're gonna click on it once more and then scroll down until you see where it says settings. Click on settings and then click on diary settings. From here, we're gonna click on customize meal names and we're going to enter in the different names for our meals. So meal one will be breakfast. Meal two will be AM snack. Meal three will be our lunch. Meal four will be our PM snack. And then meal five will be our dinner. And then click on the check mark to confirm. Now you're going to go back to the original home page by clicking on the back arrow. And now it's time to add in our food. When you are new to tracking food, it's really important that you use things like measuring cups and measuring spoons along with a kitchen scale to improve accuracy of your food intake. As you can see from here, a tablespoon of say oil is very, very different than say a teaspoon of oil in terms of volume. Now, let's just say you want to enter in one ounce of walnuts into your meal plan. Let's use the kitchen scale now to make sure we measure exactly one ounce. So turn on your kitchen scale, and then you can turn the unit to either grams, or in this case, I want it to be ounces. Take your little cup or plate, put it on the scale, and then go ahead and tear it meaning we want to make it go back to zero. So we're only measuring the walnuts and not the container. So then now that's set as zero, you can see we can now add in the walnuts. And we're going to stop at one ounce. Right there. And that's your one ounce of walnuts that you can then enter into My Fitness Pal. Now let's enter in the one ounce of walnuts we plan to eat. So the very bottom, we're going to click on the blue plus button and then click on the icon that says food. 
We're then gonna select the meal timing that we plan to eat these walnuts. I plan to eat these one ounce of walnuts for my morning snack. In the search bar, we're gonna type in walnuts. Then click on the search. Now, I like to click on the button that has this badge and an arrow. The reason why is that these are what we consider as verified searches. So they're more accurate than ones that do not have this verified badge. So here, I'm going to click on walnuts. I'm going to do this one because I'm not eating ground walnuts. I'm just eating walnut halves. So I'm going to go ahead now and click on this. For the serving size, I'm going to look for one ounce. Okay, so scroll down, I see the one ounce, I'm going to press on the check mark, and then I'm pressing the check mark once more, and then I'm going to press on the add button. So now you can see for my AM snack, I now have one ounce of walnuts here. Now there's another method we can actually enter the walnuts. So let me show the second method. So for the second method, we're going back to the home page, and then we click on the blue plus button, then hit the food icon once more, click on AM snack, and then I'm gonna click on the button that says scan barcode. I have this huge Kirkland bag right here, and this is the walnuts I use, and there's actually a barcode right over here. So I'm gonna use this to scan the barcode. And now I can see it's the Kirkland signature walnuts, and the serving size, I'm gonna click on that again, and we're gonna choose the one ounce. Now I know one ounce is actually 30 grams, so that's pretty easy. I'm just gonna click on 30 grams because 30 grams is equivalent to one ounce. I'm gonna press the check mark, and then press on the check mark once more, and then we're gonna press on add. So now you can see I actually have the walnuts put in twice, but those are two different methods. I'm gonna go ahead now and delete the first one. I'll keep the Kirkland one. All right, so that's how you would add in your food. My number one tip when meal planning is to always ensure that my protein is entered first. It just makes it a lot easier to round off your day of eating with carbs and fat, but protein is really just king when it comes to metabolism. So let's go ahead now and enter your protein rich food. So here for breakfast, I'm gonna do liquid egg whites, click the verified button, and I can find the brand I usually buy. I'm gonna be eating one full cup of the egg whites, when added to breakfast. Then my morning snack, I'm actually gonna be eating some yogurt. So here I have my container of plain Greek yogurt. I'm gonna find the barcode here, scan it, and I'm eating exactly 175 grams. So I'm gonna go ahead, check that off, add that into my morning snack. Then at lunchtime, I'm gonna be eating some cooked chicken. Click the verified button, and then there's some cooked chicken breast. I'm going to be having roughly four ounces of cooked chicken. And then for dinner, I'm going to be having some haddock. So here I have haddock. There is actually some cooked, ooh, perfect, a baked haddock. And I'm going to be measuring this. I'm going to be having roughly six ounces okay so that's why i'm doing two servings at three ounces each now you'll see on the top 840 calories remaining for the day and then from a protein standpoint if you scroll down you click on nutrition and then you go down to the nutrients tab you'll see I've reached my protein goals. This is fabulous. I've actually exceeded my grams of protein. Not a big deal as long as my calories are gonna be um, 1,400 or slightly under that. My second tip is, is that when you're searching your, for your food, if you enter a food before, it will be actually on your recent list. So for example, for breakfast, I'm gonna say I'm gonna add a food and I'm gonna click on my most recent food. So most recent all meals, check on that and it'll come up with a list of my most recent foods I've entered in the past and I actually want the skin milk because if I drink skin milk every morning it'll actually show up there I'm gonna add it to my breakfast and then as my afternoon snack 
I'm gonna add in some that's recent apples there, I'm gonna add it in. So if you eat similar foods day to day, then you don't even have to type it in, you can just find it. And then for dinner, I wanna have some bok choy. Again, you can see it here, I've added it before, and I put it in. My final tip is if there is a food item you really want to eat in the day, enter it earlier so you can compensate for say the calories or other macros um, by taking that into account first. So for example, let's say I really, really, really want to eat cinnamon toast crunch. So I'm going to go ahead now and scan the barcode for cinnamon toast crunch because I just really, really am craving it. I'm going to choose 31 grams of roughly three quarters of a cup of cinnamon toast crunch. Now, I can go down and see what other nutrients I'm still missing in. So you can see from here, carbs, I still have room. Fat, I still have room as well. Next, I'm going to add in my veggies. So now that I have my little treat, which is the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, I'm gonna just make sure I actually get some vegetables so I get some fiber in my diet. So with my eggs in the morning time, I'm gonna look for some mushrooms, I'm gonna have some one cup of sliced mushrooms I'm gonna add in. And then for lunch, I'm gonna add in some lettuce. I'm gonna do three cups shredded lettuce. I do wanna have a dressing with that. So I'm gonna type in maybe a Kraft Caesar. And I'm gonna add in one tablespoon. And then for dinner, with the bok choy, I want some jasmine rice. And there's some cooked jasmine rice. There we go, some cooked jasmine rice. And I'm gonna be having one full cup of cooked jasmine rice. Okay, so again, I have some vegetables at breakfast. I got some vegetables at lunch. I got some vegetables at dinner. And I still have 172 calories remaining. So the next thing is I'm going to round off any other uh, food items I may want to add to my meal. So for example, at breakfast, I do need a little bit of olive oil. So I can look for olive oil. And I'm going to be using one teaspoon of that to make my eggs. And then same thing for my bok choy in the evening. I also need some olive oil. So I can see if I have it here. There we go. Olive oil. Going to add that in. And now I still have 92 calories remaining. So let's click on nutrition. See what I have left. So again, carbs, I still have room. Fat, I have room. So really at this point, I can just decide what else I want to eat. So in this case, again, I have 92 calories remaining. So perhaps with my Greek yogurt, I want to add some blueberries. That would be kind of nice to sweeten up my yogurt. So I'm going to add in one cup of blueberries. And basically, I've hit my goals. I only have eight calories remaining. No big deal. So for breakfast, I'm having egg whites with mushrooms and a glass of milk. For morning snack, I have some Greek yogurt with blueberries. For lunch, I have a chicken Caesar salad. For afternoon snack, I have an apple and cinnamon toast crunch cereal. And then for dinner, I have some fish with sauteed bok choy and rice.